Now then, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Yannick Gers signature model. So I've been a fan of Iron Maiden for 18 years of my life, and in that time I've seen Fender bring out two Dave Murray signature strats, and Jackson have produced several Adrian Smith models. I think it's about time that Yannick got his own signature model, so I'm going to build one. First of all, what you're going to need, a rosewood Fender neck. I've picked this Mexican-made deluxe player's neck. It's a fairly inexpensive neck if you buy it secondhand on eBay. Everything I've bought for this project I've found on eBay secondhand on new. Um, some of the new parts very cheaply. Um, I will explain why. Um, I've got Cluson locking tuners here. You don't have to go for locking tuners. They just happen to fit the holes in the headstock um, and they were fairly cheap. So I thought, why not? Um, this particular neck has got a 12 inch radius, so if you like bending up the top end past the 12th fret here It's going to come in very useful, especially if you like low action The body is from a Jimi Hendrix signature model. I think this came out in 2015 It may have been 2015. It may have been last year. They're fairly recent models anyway uh, What I liked about this is that it's got the vintage um, bridge spacing so the screw holes here have been cut for a vintage spaced fender tremolo um, i'll show you why that's important it's important for my particular project anyway um, because i have got this very nice uh, vintage spaced tremolo unit here that i've assembled from um, a selection of parts so i've got some callaham stainless steel saddles nice big fat brass block that i found on ebay for about 18 pounds there's a guy that makes these to your specification if you go and look up fender brass block you will find a number of options out there this was at the lower end of those options and it's bloody good very loud very good for the old sustain now scratch plate i found this white three ply scratch plate on ebay for one pound fifty this is Chinese made, um, it was from a Chinese seller. It reached me in about three weeks, free postage. And I have to say, I'm very impressed with the craftsmanship of this. It's probably been laser cut, it fits perfectly. Um, really impressed with that. And it comes with a load of screws. Great value for money. You really do not need to spend a fortune to complete this sort of project, or any guitar project for that matter. Very often, it's the quality of your own work that counts more than the price of the um, various combined parts. Um, again, some more white parts. So we've got pickup covers, volume and tone knobs in there. I'm only gonna use one of these because I have a spare single coil fender pickup lying around. Probably the most important part of this project, um, it's the bridge and the neck pickups. Now, Mr. Gers favors the Duncan JB Junior model. Looks a bit like this, but it's not this. So this is a clone of said pickup that I found on eBay for £15. I've got two of these. That's a total of £30 that I've spent on the pickups for this project. You can't argue with that. I mean, if you're looking at a pair of Duncan JB Juniors new, you're talking about £140. It's a no-brainer, really. I picked up this wiring harness. Again, Chinese made, but this one has got the full-size volume and tone pots. It's pre-wired with a five-way selector switch, and it's also got some tone caps on there as well. I think these are 22s, I will have to check. And then obviously, finally, you'll need all the screws and all the various pieces of hardware, like the neck plate and the jack socket. You can take those from pretty much any Fender Strat. I'll pick them up again, secondhand, off my favorite place, eBay. So this is the deluxe fat strap that I've got lying around. I uh, took the neck off and uh, it's really just sitting around for parts at the moment. So I want this here, this fella here. So I'm going to have to unsolder him, take him out and pop him on my Yannick Gerr strap. And I also want this here, the jack plate. I've already got a jack socket on my wiring harness so that can stay. And I'll be grabbing the claw out of the back. And as you see, the springs have found their way under the mat. I'll be having those. I'll probably pop a third one in as well. So, a fair bit of work to do. So, the neck is firmly bolted on. 
I've uh, tested the string alignment with the bridge, very nice. No strings falling over the edges or anything annoying like that. The one snag I have encountered, however, is that these pickups do not fully fit through these holes. So I'm going to have to sand or file down the corners to make room for these pickups. So that's the next job on my list. Okay, so I've been at the pick guard with my file and I've filed out the corners of the bridge pickup cutout here. So if you compare the shape of that to the neck in the middle, you will see a noticeable difference. And now if I take this and go underneath, it fits all the way through. Look at that, fantastic. So just gonna repeat that on the neck and then we're good to go with the scratch plate. Final progress report for day one. Pickups installed. Well, the JB Juniors are. Still got to see to this one here. As you can see, I've popped the wiring harness in the back there. Put some copper tape on for insulation. It's not the neatest of jobs, but sod it. It'll be right, as we say. Right, second day. And I've soldered all the wires coming from the pickups into the pre-existing wiring harness. As you see here, I've had to tape off the red and white wires from the humbuckers. This isn't actually electrical tape, this is heat shrink tubing there. A little tip for you, you can use the tip of your soldering iron to shrink the tubing. How about that? Right, so I've just had to desolder the jack socket as it was attached to the wiring harness that I bought from eBay and as such I couldn't fit it through the hole so the wires have to come through the cavity underneath here then through this tiny little hole here then through into the jack socket cavity and obviously if this is attached you're not going to be able to do that there's no way that that is fitting through there so the wires were desoldered Push this through, push the two wires there through, underneath, through that hole, and soldered them back on at this side. Now it's going back on again. All good. Now, okay. something to be wary of, you've got to make sure that your wiring can fit in the cavity, otherwise your scratch plate's not going to be able to lock down tightly on top of your guitar when you screw it in. So to be on the safe side, make sure you tape up any excess wire length. So as these two pickups here are new, I've got quite a lot of wire length left. So I've taped it together so that it'll all stay nice and neat when I slot it into position here. Those wires should fall down into that cavity there and we should fit the scratch plate nice and flush to the top of the guitar. Right, we're almost there. As you can see, it's finally starting to resemble the famous Black Strat owned by Mr. Yannick Gers, the guitar that I've wanted to own for absolutely years. Now let's turn it over and I'll show you the final job that we've got to do. Just pop the guitar down. I need to solder this one remaining black wire to the trim claw here to ground everything otherwise we're going to get some nasty buzz when we plug it in and see if all the hard work that we've done thus far has paid off so stick around all done firmly soldered into place this little contraption here is a soldering helping hand which is essentially a small stand with a couple of crocodile clips and these can be used to hold in place any components while you're soldering them, freeing up your hands. Another useful tool is this soldering iron stand. When I'm heating up my soldering iron I will leave it in here to heat and similarly when it's uh, cooling down it's uh, useful to have somewhere to put it, obviously for safety reasons. Right, now we're done with this. 
Let's get the strings on. Let's see if it works. How do? It's the moment you've been waiting for. Oh. Now, if I do say so myself, that's a very fine looking wooden instrument right there. Um, honestly, so happy with how this has turned out. Under 600 pounds, I've got my very own Yannick Gerst Strat. It looks awesome, it plays awesome. Let's see if it sounds awesome. <laughs> 